What's up, beautiful people? I'm Erin, and this is Erin On Demand, and today I am going to teach you how to use a teleprompter, and I'm gonna give you some tips on how to read the prompter really well. Ain't nobody gonna know you reading. So I actually posted a video of me using my teleprompter on TikTok, and it got over 500,000 views, and I was like, I need to tell my YouTube folks about this, okay? So basically, here is the teleprompter that I have been using. I'm gonna first share with you how to set it up. Then we're gonna go through the teleprompter app and how to set that up. And then I'm gonna give you some tips on how to use and read the teleprompter really well, okay? So first things first, how to set it up and also what is a teleprompter. So if you're unfamiliar with this, this is basically a tool that will help you read your lines or your script without having to think about what you have to say. The news anchors use it when they're reading the news. Um, presidents or speech people use it when they're re reading speeches. And it's just a really helpful tool. And I was like, you know what? Why can't I use this for my content? And can, so let me get me one. And did. So here is the teleprompter that I've been using. It is by Deskview, as well as the app that I've been using is also by Deskview. So let's get into the setup. First things first is this teleprompter comes with a bunch of different lens adapters or lens rings of different sizes based on whatever size lens you're using. So they have a lot of options and these come with the teleprompter, which is really nice. So if you have different size lenses, you're gonna make sure you put the right lens ring onto your lens. Without this, your teleprompter will not be able to sit on your lens. So first you're going to screw on the lens ring that matches the size of your lens. And then you just slide the teleprompter right down to clamp right into the lens ring. And it'll just sit there. It won't obstruct the view of your camera. Um, it won't mess up or look like there's a filter or anything on it because essentially all a teleprompter is is a clear mirror. So the lens will be able to see right through it so long that your teleprompter, like your teleprompter is actually clean. So you wanna make sure you wipe this off, make sure there's no lint, no dust, no fingerprints on it so that way your camera is not picking up on that. And then once you get the teleprompter on, on top of your camera, you're going to clamp your phone right here so that way you can recite your lines from your phone. Your phone is gonna be the thing that feeds the teleprompter. It's going to make your lines move onto the teleprompter. Because again, essentially this is a mirror. So when your phone is on there, it's gonna mirror the text on top. That's why it's angled at this degree. So it can mirror whatever is right here. So it's a really cool tool and it's extremely easy to set up. I didn't spend a lot of money on this teleprompter and there are lots of really reasonable ones on the market that all work the same. You do not have to spend a lot of money on a tool like this because again, no one sees it. No one's going to be like seeing you use this. This is it's like specifically for you to make your life a little bit easier. So now that we got the setup out the way, let's get into setting up the app, which is what's gonna show your script to you. So I use the Deskview app, which is the same app as the brand of the teleprompter. You don't have to use this app. This app has like one star on the app store. Um, because it can be a little bit crashy or buggy. You can use whatever teleprompter app you want. There's lots of free ones that probably work a lot better than this one, but I haven't really had any major issues with it. So I just click new lines and I paste the text of the script right into, right into there. And then you can title it. I'm just gonna title this. So I just titled it test. And then when you click finish, you should see your script on the app. Now, what you wanna do is go into settings. Right now, the script looks regular, like I can read this with my own two eyes. You don't wanna be able to read it with your own two eyes when you're looking right at it, um, because remember, a teleprompter is a mirror, so it should be backwards and upside down. In the app, when you click on settings, you can make the word size really big, which I like to do, especially if your teleprompter is a bit further back, like if it's not like right in front of you an arm's length. I would recommend making the size a bit bigger so you can see it. 
and then you can adjust the speed. So this is going to adjust how fast the teleprompter is moving. So it may take a few times of you reading it and being like, oh no, that's too slow. I read kind of fast or no, that's too fast. I need it to slow down before you can find the perfect speed for the prompter. You can also adjust the background colors. I have found that the best for me is for the background to be black and the text to be white. This is also how, like this is standard teleprompter. I don't know, this is like how most people use it in the standard form. When I worked at a news station, it was always black background, white text. Um, anytime I worked in television, this is how the teleprompter was set up. It was also in all caps. So that is another pro tip is to write your script in all caps. It's, it makes it so much easier to see and to read. And some letters like I, uppercase I and lowercase L, they look the same. So when everything is in all caps, all of the letters look like different okay so um, that's just a pro tip to make sure you write your scripts in all caps and then you want to make sure you turn on that mirroring feature so there is a button that says mirroring or not you want to make sure that is clicked on so that way the script is upside down and backwards so when you put it on the prompter it reads right side up and forward so once you finish that you're pretty much good to go you press play and it will give me a little countdown and then I just get going and I start reading and you will never know that I'm reading. That said, let's get into some tips on how to properly read a teleprompter and how to get better at it. Now, the first major tip that I wanna give you is to write your script how you talk. Do not try to write your script all fancy, extra properly, and that ain't how you speak. And if I was writing this script right now, I would have put, and that ain't how you speak. Not, and that isn't the proper way to speak, okay? So make sure you are writing in your own voice. This is gonna make it a lot easier for you to read, and it's going to make it seem like you aren't reading which is the key. You don't wanna look like you're reading. Tip number two is to make sure that you are reading on that green line. So for this teleprompter in this app, there's a green line. There's a green line right in the middle of the screen. Now on the teleprompter, when you have the teleprompter, you know, when you have your phone inside the teleprompter, that green line is gonna be right where the eye of the lens is. And that's gonna, pre when you read on the green line, that's gonna prevent you from looking like you're going like this, where your eyes are moving and you can really see like you looking kind of down below the lens because you're reading the script that's below the green line or above the green line. You wanna make sure you're staying right on that green line with where you're reading. And that's where you're gonna wanna adjust the speed to either slow down or speed up so that you can keep your eyes right on that green line. Tip number three is to practice. You have to practice. A teleprompter is something that may be kind of a delusion. It may, it may make you feel like it's about to just be this insane life hack. If you're nervous on camera, if you always lose your train of thought, if you tend to ramble, if you stop a lot, um, you may feel like, okay, this is like my savior. I'm about to get me a teleprompter and it's gonna make my life so much easier. Honey, I am here to tell you that you're going to put this thing on there and you're going to get to reading and you're going to be like, oh, shoot, I didn't realize I couldn't read that good out loud. Or, oh, shoot, I didn't realize that I keep stumbling over my words. Or, oh, shoot, I didn't realize that I'm going to have to keep stopping and starting every single time I mess up. You've got to go back to that spot or you either start all the way over. You've got to readjust the teleprompter when you mess up. So you really also have to be able to kind of ad lib if you mess up a little bit so that you can keep going. It will take some practice, practice, practice. It is not something that I'm even trying to convince you is going to be just this easy life hack that is going to just make your content creation process so much smoother. Now, what I use my teleprompter for is not long form video. I have never used it for a YouTube video because my YouTube videos are too long. I am not about to sit there and script a 10 minute long, sometimes 15 to 20 minute long 
video. It's just not happening. So I like to think off the top of my head a lot of times when I am doing my YouTube videos, or I won't say think off the top of my head, but I like to just speak freely. And sometimes using a teleprompter can make you feel a bit confined because if I think of a really good example in the spur of the moment and my script is still going, now I've got to go pause it. And it just takes a lot when you're kind of thinking off the top of your head. So for my YouTube videos, I like to use an outline. And if you guys are interested, I can do a video on how I outline my YouTube videos. But I only use an outline with bullet points on what I'm going to be talking about. With the teleprompter, I actually bought this for two very specific things. So what I use it for mostly are sponsored segments. So if I have a sponsorship that the brand is very specific on certain things or they want the message tailored in a specific way, I don't like going back and forth with brands a whole lot because I said one slightly different word. I said like, ultra instead of super or you know some random synonym that they don't want me to use so i like to be very like i like to follow the creative briefs to a t so i use this sometimes for brand deals like 30 seconds to one minute or two minute spot inside of some of my videos or i also like to use this for videos on my website videos that are talking about my program. If it's a short video that I don't wanna have to think too much about what I'm saying. If you wanna use it for long form content, I just highly recommend starting slowly and using it for short form content first and then working your way up. It could be easier for you to script the video out. Maybe you're a great writer and you're not as good on video and it's easier for you to just write the script out feed it into the prompter and practice, practice, practice that way, that's fine. Whatever your process is, do that. I'm just here to let you know that you're gonna have to practice, okay? It is truly, truly a skill that you have to learn, okay? That said, I think that is everything to cover this teleprompter. I will link a couple different options down below. This one might not be back in stock yet, However, this one, if it goes out of stock, there are tons of other ones that you can choose from. Please don't feel like you have to wait for this one. There is nothing particularly special about this one. There are other ones that you guys work just the same, okay? That said, let me know if you want me to do a YouTube slash video script outline video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.